What's up, y'all? Got a film with a fee, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into She Wanted My Life, part two. I'm not reacting to part one because y'all said it was boring, so it was 45 minutes, no need to waste time. This is clearly not the screen. This is uh, Neek's mom um, speaking about the story time of her getting cheated on by her long-term wife, if I'm not mistaken. Boom, ha ha. What is up my angels? Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a kind of long video, so I'm gonna just jump straight into it. For the people who are new to my channel, thank y'all so much for coming. If you don't know what's going on, I'm just gonna give you a small little snippet of why I'm doing this video. So I am Cindy. I am doing a story time right now on my past relationship. So I was in a relationship for 18 years. I was cheated on, betrayed by someone who I thought was my friend. I nicknamed her Tricky Trina, in case you hear me saying Tricky Trina, and somebody who I thought loved me more than anything in the world. I know, well, I thought the feelings were mutual, how we feel, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I was betrayed, and so now I'm telling my story. If you want to get back character, a little bit of their character, go back to the video before this one, and you will get a little bit of what's going on. If you want to get more, then go to the one before that, a Q, the Q&A. All right, guys, y'all, if you're ready, let's go ahead and do this. All right. Ooh. Why I'm getting nervous like I'm like having told this story a million times. That is crazy. All right, so guys, we ended last time, the last video I ended on, and I found one kind of loud, like, I'm at the hotel. I came in town to vote, and I was like, I got a few minutes before I pick up my grandson. Let me go ahead and do this video today. I thought I looked kind of cute. All right, so we ended the last video on, I was telling you guys about their character, how, you know, Tricky Trina is well known for messing with people's spouse or mans. The only then what are we talking about? The only thing is nobody that I know of was ever crazy enough to mess up their relationship for her. Only mine. I don't know, but if you're weak, you beat. You know, that's my favorite saying. And the back character on my spouse is she's always been really, really weak. But that happens when you're in a relationship or any type of relationship, friendship, relationship, whatever, and you notice characteristics about a person, characteristics about a person, bad characteristics, it is so important for you to make sure that's something that you want to deal with. Because if you're in a relationship with somebody who's weak and who's never fought for yourself, you guys to know they're never going to fight for you. Hold one second, guys. That's right. I had to um, take that phone call. And now I'm back. <sighs> okay. Where I was last is just basically just talking about their character. And then I told you guys that Tricky Trina asked to spend a night at my house because she said that she was too drunk to drive home. Now, again, that's completely out of character for me, but who wouldn't do that for their friend? Especially if you would never think this would happen. Like, uh, let me tell y'all, it's, I know so many people are telling me that, oh, it's been going on or this had to, I had no, no idea. Like I had, I would have never thought. So I had no clue. And for the new people, I also want to let you guys know that everything I'm saying is completely true. 100%. This is my story. It happened to me. Okay, so, bam. She asked to spend the night at my house. We got in the house, we walking in the house, and for some reason, I just got extremely tired. It was like, this is crazy, right? I knew I took that last drink before we left the- um, the. Now I feel like she done drugged or something. Party, but come on now, like, it's no way. I, I drink, right? Um, I'm a drinker, and it's no way that I come home from a party at two o'clock in the morning and I'm this tired. It might have been, Two, two thirty, three o'clock, something like that. So I'm, I just, I just can't understand why I'm so tired. I'm just extremely, extremely, extremely tired. And I'm going somewhere with this. I'll let you guys know later. My ex again does have a history of uh, mishandling or misusing medications that were not pres prescribed. I thought that we did the whole rehab thing over the years. I thought that, you know, it was that part was done, but. I'll tell y'all where I'm going with this. It wasn't, she hadn't started back using it and that could be the reason for her behavior.
What kind of drugs was she on? <clears throat> I can't act like you don't get in compromise, compromising situations, and that's why you shouldn't even put yourself in them situations, literally. Like, we need to stop acting like people aren't attracted to other people. We need to stop acting like you can't be... Um, in a bad space with your person and not actually want to do anything, you know what I'm saying, with another person because of how you're feeling in the moment, especially being women, emotions really, really rise. Hello. And that's why men just use they meat anyway. But anyway, so with that being said, <clears throat> you can't put yourself in them type of positions. And if she was attracted to her friend, which is unfortunate because that should never happen in the first place, you can have a fine-ass friend. Your girl can have a fine-ass friend, whatever. But that's the fine-ass friend that you just can't mess with, okay? And you got to know that at 40 plus, that's just one you don't mess with. All these other fine women she could have did whatever with, but you want to go with this one. I don't even know if she fine. I'm just saying. I, I, I don't even know what she look like. But I'm just saying, I got to assume that you would ruin your entire relationship for so long for a woman that you had some type of feeling for. So I came in a room. I went in a room. I took my shower. And I didn't I even address the pills because it's, that's obvious that if you own something, you definitely, yeah, I mean, hello. I just to get ready for bed. Now, my ex-friend, Tricky Trina, was like, come on, let's go outside and puff. Let's go outside and puff. It was really cold outside and I don't puff. So I was like, no, y'all go ahead. It's fine. Go ahead. I'm gonna go take my shower and get ready for bed. I'm coming back. In my mind, I was coming back in. I was going to hang out with them. You know, we could have set up, maybe took a few more shots before we took it to bed. Now, your partner smoking and smoking with somebody else, that is the worst. I actually am not the biggest fan of it unless, unless we over somebody's house, we over somebody's house and they girlfriend there too. But I'm not the biggest fan of it either. Like, I'm about to go sit in the car with him and smoke. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm about to go sit in the car with her and smoke. No, you're not. Unless like, like I really like have seen your character, if that makes any sense. But sometimes you can misjudge that. And, you know, when you don't smoke, you just, you don't smoke. But yeah. Because that's normally what I do. I would never go to bed with someone up in my home. I'm old school. I'm so old school, right? So after I got out the shower, I just felt so, 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 so tired to the point where I couldn't even come out the room. I pick up the phone and I call my ex. I'm like, what are you doing? She said, we still outside. I said, can you please come in? Because like, I'm really, really tired and I'm ready to go to bed. She was like, okay. So she came in the room, like shortly right afterwards, she came in the room and she came, came to bed. Well, I didn't waste any time. I went straight, she laid down, I laid on her chest. That's what I normally do every time we get ready for bed. And I went straight to sleep. It was so crazy because I fell asleep on her side of the bed which is not by the door. I'm always sleeping by the door because I have kids, my grandkid, whatever. If anybody comes... Hold on. I don't know what the fuck that was. come in in the middle of the night, I'm the person who jumps up. So I always, my spot was on side of the door. Her spot was on, on the, way on the opposite side so that, you know, I never wanted to wake her up if somebody interrupted us. So, so bam, she come to bed. We are, y'all, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> y'all forgive me. Whew. So we go to sleep. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of person if I wake up and my person is not touching me and they're not on side of me, I immediately wake up and start looking for her. I mean, we have been sleeping together for 18 years strong, literally 18 years. The few times that we did spend a night away from each other, like if I went out of town or something like that, I would have to call her just to fall asleep. Or maybe I'll sleep for like two or three hours because my body is shut down, but I don't get my real sleep until I go back home and get close to her. So I jump up out of my sleep. Now my, it was four, it was 4.30 in the morning because I still have the text messages where I said, come to bed and I end up calling her. I still had the phone call or whatever I said, I'm tired, come to bed. So, because I texted her before I called her. So it was like, at this point, I took my shower. Everything is like 4.30 in the morning. She came to bed. I laid on her chest. I went to sleep. 
I felt something wasn't right. I, even though I was so sleepy, I could not keep my eyes. It was like a different type of feeling as if I was under the influence. So I jump up when I didn't feel her feet and I'm like, I started calling her name. When she didn't answer, I jumped up out the bed like wide awake. I started to walk into the other parts of the house. Well, the very first thing I did when I opened my door is my grandson's room is how, how this works is down the hall to the left is where my son's Anthony room used to be. If you go down a little bit farther, it's where my, where Nick, my daughter Nick's room used to be. And then straight ahead, when the kids were young, it used to be my youngest son's room, Larry. So since all the kids are moved out and my grandson was living with me, I gave my grandson Larry's old room because it's directly across the hallway and I can open the door and see. Even though it's, the hallway is kind of far, I can still see everything in there as long as the door is open. So I looked across the hallway and I'm calling my ex's name really loud. And I see a light pop on, but it's the TV light. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe the TV was on dark and it just popped on or whatever, because we never turn that TV off like ever. Of course, my mind is not at all going to a place where she's in that room across the hall. So what I do is I walk down the hall and I take a right, which takes me into the living room area. Well, it takes me down the hall to go into the living room area. So as I'm walking down the hall, I'm steady calling her name. And then I get to the living room. My son is on a couch sleep because him and his girlfriend spent the night that night. And I asked them, I say, have you seen my ex? You know, I said her name. Not they spent the night that night and didn't see or hear nothing. And I got to think of a name for her too, guys, because I keep calling my ex. But I was like, I, huh. I asked him, I said, did you see her? And he was like, oh, she never came out the room. Sure. I said, huh? He said, yeah. I was like, did she go outside? He said, well, she asked me to come outside and puff with you, her, and her friend. And I told her I didn't want to come. I said, well, I never went out there. He said, oh, well, she told me that you was going out there with them. I said, well, why would she tell you that? Now I'm getting a little suspicious. Like why, if she asked you to come out there, she told you that I was coming too, because she know you, she knows that if she tells my son that I'm gonna be out there, he's a grown man. I know he puffs, right? But one thing about my children, they're not gonna do it in front of me. So if she says, do you wanna come outside? Because me and your mom is going, your mom is coming outside with me while I puff. He's not gonna come because he's not gonna puff in front of me. So he was like, well, I told her no, because I thought you was going to be out there. I was like, oh, he said, but when y'all went to bed, she never got back up. I'm like, mm hmm. So I turn around and I start back walking down the hallway. <sighs> now, mind you, I'm thinking if she left out of my room. Oh, yeah, I did go back to my room and I looked in the bathroom to make sure she wasn't like in a on the toilet or anything. I looked at the shower. She wasn't there. And I turned around and start slowly. I mean, it was so slow, like. Y'all, I would have immediately. Let me look at the location. She at she here too. And don't let me have a friend location too. Oh shit. Oh, they both here. I'm immediately crashing the fuck out. <laughs> I already crashed out before I knew anything. <laughs> I'm crashing out before I know anything. I don't even know what's going on. I'm crashing out. <laughs> it's crazy that I was almost giving them time oh to my God. undo whatever was going on in that room <sighs> because never in a million years would I have thought that she was at this point. I'm still in denial that she's actually in that room. No, I'm like, it's no, no way. denial there. So I'm walking, you know, normally a person would hurry up and go there first and check the door open. I, it was just like, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I'm walking slow and I, I am not lying. God. It's, it's kind of like on a, a freaking movie or something. You know how on a movie, a scary movie, you'd be like, girl, just open the door for you. You're going to miss. It's kind of like I'm missing everything on purpose or something. It's crazy. No. So when I get to the room. I'm so nosy. I want to see what I'm about to walk into. Got to see it. I hope I don't. But I'm, I'm, I'm boom, I'm in there. I was already in there. As soon as I seen you wasn't in there in the first place. Well, whoever the lights is at is where I'm going in anyway. So, oh my God. My, I am, I don't know what I was thinking. 
I, I think I was thinking that no, it's no, it's not possible. So I don't want my friend to think I'm like disrespecting her by busting in the room. I knocked on the door. So I went knock, knock, knock. And I twisted and walked in. Woo okay, so when I walked in, my ex is sitting on the bottom part of standing in the bottom part of the bed with a remote control in her hand, like she's turning the TV. So I was like, I looked at her and I said, what are you doing in here? And she said, oh, I was just about to turn the TV off. And I'm scanning the room because mind you, I skipped this part. When I walked in the house and I told my uh, ex, I told Tricky Trina, I said, here, you can sleep in my grandson's room. Well, the bed was really, really neatly made up. Neat, mm. okay? So the pillows were all stacked on the bed. I took the big pillows off of the bed, set them on side of the floor, so, and put the covers back. Now, mind you, she's, she's kind of tiny, right? She's really tiny. So if I put the covers back and you got in the bed on one side, the other side shouldn't even be messed up. Plus, you're so tiny that I, even if you were like really sleeping all over the bed, it shouldn't have been that messed up. So I'm scanning the room with my eyes. Both of y'all in the same room. <coughs> the bed was neat and it's messed up. Somebody got to die. <laughs> the fact that you two trifling motherfuckers did that in the same house. Like y'all, I get it. Temptation is a thing. Let's not be oblivious. Hello. But damn with my 18 years of life woman and with her friend and my grandson room no like <laughs> what are we talking about oh shit i went to jail and all i could think about is when i went in the room to tell her where she was going to be sleeping and i put the covers back i'm looking on the floor where nothing was on the floor, the room was really, really clean. The only thing was on the floor was the pillows. But the pillows are scattered all over the side of the bed as if somebody was stepping on them or maybe fell on them or something. But when I look in the bed, she's in the bed with the covers over her head. Mm. My ex is sitting on the bottom of the bed with the remote like this, like a crazy person. So I was like, um... It had the nerve to be up under the covers with it. That's a different type of trifling, y'all. Like, you niggas was comfortable. Like, they just knew, like, nigga, we about to get it in while she sleep. Like, oh, they was tossing and turning in there. You know what I'm saying? Up under the cover with it. What is going on? And my ex looked at me and she said, I'm turning the TV off. I said, so, and you could tell, like, it was almost like I wasn't even looking at her. It was almost like I was looking at a devil or somebody else. It just wasn't her. So I immediately knew that she was, like, really high. So I'm staring into her eyes and I'm like, what are you doing? I know everybody probably think I was just went in there and started punching. But when you love somebody and you trust them and you really, really just know the character of this person, it's so... You would have to be in that situation to understand where I'm coming from. And I believe like, that. I believe that. I, if one of my friends would have told me this, I would have been like, girl, I would have went in there swinging, blah, blah, blah. But knowing my ex, I trusted her with everything in me. She's the one person in this world. Of course, you know, I trust God. I'm not even going to cap you down. I would have meet immediately. At least this is what I feel like I would have did. I would have immediately jumped on the friend, period. I'm getting both of y'all, but the friend, the fact that you up under the cover playing hide and go, bitch, I'm fucking you up. I'm dumpster diving on the bed with these. You get what I'm saying? Cause like, what you hiding for? Uh-uh. What are you hiding for? I'm snatching the covers off first thing. Covers got to go. Give me that remote. I done broke the TV. Okay? Period. Covers come off you and don't let you be but boony. Immediately get in the phone. Don't let you be but boony. And I'm going to let everybody know that you fucking my bitch and I'm about to beat your ass and nigga, you better go ahead and leave before I kill you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can whoop my ass 
or not. So, boy, I'm trying to get through. Both of y'all. I'm going to jail. I'm getting pissed off and it ain't even happened to me. I'm pulling the covers off because I know you naked up under there. I got to record you because I got to have my proof so they know why I did what I did. Period. Who going to do me something? Because, oh, my God. <laughs> we can, I will take it there with my biggest bully at that point. We can do it. I'm with it. <laughs> I don't want y'all coming for me and all that, but she's the one person in this world who she I trusted with my life. She's the one person in Ooh. this world who I would always say, oh if y'all want to know if I'm telling the truth, ask her. Because she don't lie. You know, like, that. I used to always say she don't lie. She don't lie. But again, I dismissed her character when I met her because when I first met her, that's all she did was lie. Oof. And cheat. And, and was weak, okay? But when we got in a relationship, it just felt so real and our bond was so tight. And if Temporary a person is the same insanity, way for a full 18 you. years, you're, you're like, this is everybody. this person's character. Okay, so... I'm looking her in her eyes and I was like, please tell me nothing is going on in here. She was like, no, I was turning off TV. I said, well, why did you come in here? She said, well, me and Tricky Trina were talking. Go I said, talking high. about what? So soon as I said that, I looked to the bed where Tricky Trina had the covers over her head. She pulled the covers off her head and she said, stop lying on me. I didn't even know you were in here. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, it could have slid if she would have been like, yeah, girl, you were asleep and we were up. We didn't feel like sleeping. We wanted to talk. I could have understood that a little bit more. But when she pulled the covers off her said head and she said, I, I didn't even know you were in here. What you doing in here? Now I'm like, well, hold up. And you, bitch, you ain't even gonna lie. Oh, man. Hold up, because... I'm about to lose my whole family for you. Something ain't right, right? I'm like, you're saying that you're talking to her. She's saying that she didn't even know you was in here. Who's lying? So at this time, now both my ex is trying to I'm, wiggle... I'm, both of them. I'm t put me in a straitjacket. Put me in a straitjacket. Both of y'all lying? Ooh. Her way out the room, talking about let's go in our room and talk. I was like, no, we need to talk right here because at the same time, my eyes are scanning the room <laughs> where I see drinks on my grandson's dresser, like shots. I see uh, it looks like two shots were empty and it had uh, one shot that was completely full, like somebody, maybe somebody didn't take the last shot. And I'm looking all around, I see... Um, we don't puff in the house, and we definitely don't puff in my grandson's room, but I see the residue was right there. Like, wait a minute, are y'all puffing in here? So I'm, I'm just, I'm scanning the room, like, stuff. I see the ashtray. Like, what was, were y'all having a, a party in here? So now I'm thinking maybe they were just having a drink because I was asleep. Maybe I walked in, and they were terrified thinking I was going to think something, so now they're freezing, right? All kind of things are going through my head. So as I'm asking my ex, just tell me what's going on. Tell me I need answers. I need to know why you're in this room. She steady walking out pushing me towards the hallway. So as we're in the hallway, mind you, I skipped this part. When I got up to look for her, when I went back in the room to check the bathroom, I looked in my bed and on, in my bed, I found her phone and I found some pills. I don't know what I could say on here. So I'm just going to say they were, um, if you guys can read through the lines, it was something that people use for anxiety. And my ex had a real bad issue with abusing those in the past. Like, bad. <coughs> Xanax? You can say that, friend. I'm just gonna edit it out. But y'all sound like a Xanax to me. Like, I'm not even gonna air out her laundry because we were in love, you know? And I knew about this. I, I did try my best to uh, help her to get off of it, which I thought she was at the time. So, why did it have one in my bed? I, I will say them Xanax will make you turn into a whole nother person from what I've seen. People do. I had a friend that peed in my bed. Clearly, this was a whole long time ago. But she peed in my bed and woke up. I didn't know who the hell she was. She turned into a whole nother person. So I, I don't I don't do that narcotic anyway, but I definitely would never mess with no damn Xanax. I have <laughs> no idea. Like, wait a minute, it was mind you, I'm on her side of the bed. So did she drop it out her pocket? Was it meant for me? I, I I have no idea, but it was in the bed. And her phone was in the bed also, but it was more like on my side. So I grabbed the phone because I was going to look through the phone to try and see if maybe she... I grabbed the phone to, to see if I could open it to see if maybe she talked to somebody or something. Like, where are you? So as I was walking... Okay, so back to when I was in the room. That happened before. So I'm holding her phone in my hand because I'm like, what is going on? Your phone is in the room. You know, um, I couldn't get in the phone. Now, mind you, we have each other codes. 
we have always had each other codes, but we never looked through each other's phones. So it's no reason, like, I, I never looked through her phone, but I know if I needed to go order something or if I needed to make a phone call, I could just go to her phone, open it up. But we really trust each other. We didn't look in each other's phones. So I'm holding the phone in my hand. I don't know if I'm just nervous or if she changed the password. So I'm opening it up trying to say, tell me what's going on. I'm trying to see if they had texted each other like prior saying, come in a room or uh, come hang out with me. I'm trying to make sense of it. But at the same time, while I'm trying to make sense of it, my ex is pushing me towards the hallway. So now we're in the hallway, you know, going back and forth or whatever, like, no, tell me, blah, blah, blah. I'm completely like, my mind is so out of it that I did none of the things that I would have normally done if I was in the right state of mind. I'm Something like this has happened to me before. It was not with um, somebody I was dealing with. Like, I never dealt with nothing like this. But I will say when you're dealing with somebody that you really call your friend or, or whatever the case may be, um, you can freeze up. I don't know what that's about. It definitely happened to me before, and uh, I don't plan on it ever happening again. I think I want to spaz first and ask questions later, quite honestly. I'm so confused. I didn't even think to say, if I, if I could... Unless I don't want to go to jail. I, now, I have my moments where I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I don't feel like going to jail. I'm not going to jail. But I have my moments where jail is absolutely worth it right now. Okay, that's where we're going to have to go. Do it all over again. I would go in the room and handle my ex, Tricky Trina, because... My ex wasn't going anywhere. I would go in the room and, and tell moment, Trina, I need to jail. know now what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So, bam, as me and my ex are passing words, she creeps her way to the room. She's like, you're tripping. I swear to God, I would never did mind you. She's saying, swear to God, right? This is a person who I trust more than anything in my life. So, she's like, you're tripping. I can't believe you. Um, we just in here talking and you're accusing me and blah, blah, blah. So, I'm like, oh, my goodness. As we're talking, she's steady easing her way to the room. So, now we're like, she's in, she walks in our closet because we have this huge walk-in closet that used to be a room and we turned it into a closet, you know, to go into my room. So it's a huge closet, the size of a room. So we're in my closet now and we're like, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Why? I don't care if you just wanted to talk. It was inappropriate. So now I'm, I'm changing from saying it's inappropriate. I mean, I'm changing from thinking they're, you know, now accusing her of doing something because now she's like, you're accusing me. So I'm changing from you're accusing, I, I'm, I changed it where I don't want her to think I'm accusing her. I want her to know that whatever you went in there for, it was inappropriate. So we're talking, blah, blah, blah. I get a text message. The text message is from Tricky Trina saying, I felt uncomfortable, so I left. I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. Now, mind you, two days prior, well, on my birthday, which was five days prior. Not this heifer left. She had some dude, and I, I don't even get down like this. I should have really X'd her out then. Some dude dropped her off at my house that morning. She... She, dropped, she didn't want him to know where she stayed. I don't know. But dropped her off to my house and because we went out the night before my birthday. And she left with some dude and had him drop her off to my house. And I took her to her car. I, I don't know why she did that. I had him drop him off to my house. But we did talk about it. I was like, oh, no, I'm in a relationship. You can't do that. You know, we had just began to be back friends. And I, I had to set her straight. Like, nah, this dude can't be dropping you off in my house because I don't get down like that. I'm in a relationship. So surely now I got to. Surely she, she just, so she just gets up and leave. I'm like, oh, so I text her back. I was like, oh, you should feel uncomfortable. And I still got the text messages. I was like, oh, you should feel uncomfortable because something inappropriate was going on. You need to get back here. So she was like, oh, no, I'm, I ended up, I kept calling her, kept calling her. She's not answering at this time. So I'm texting her like, you need to get back here right now. She escaped the ass whooping. We need to talk. We need to talk about what's going, what happened in that room, blah, blah, blah. So here my son. So I'm, I'm like, just like, I don't know what to think. It's kind of like when you're. You like on TV when they have like a, a scene, uh, maybe like a, a car accident or something, and in the person's mind it's just like, uh, or like the like the world is spinning. That's how it was. It's kind of like I was just he hearing voices over here saying you're tripping. I was hearing voices over here saying you need to go off. I, I didn't know what to do. So my son walked in there. I, I'm just like screaming. I need to know. I need to know. I need answers. I need. So my son walks in there. Um, I walk in the hallway and he walks in the hallway and he meets me there and he said, Mama. I think you're tripping. And I was like, why uh, you say that? He said, you know, my ex has been getting drunk lately a lot. Well, we thought that she had just been getting drunk a, late, a, late, a lot lately, come to find out that she was back on, uh, on prescribed meds. He was like, yeah, you know, lately, um, prior to this, a few mornings before, she fell down in the hallway and he had to bring her to bed. He was like, Mama, I think that she was just really drunk. We think she's drunk now, not knowing that she's under the influence of something else. He was like... So I, stupid. So stupid. I, I, the other night I had to bring her to bed. I think that she was really drunk and she wandered in that room. 
And I'm like, oh gosh, maybe he's telling the truth. Now I feel horrible. Drunk I go in there and I'm talking to my ex. Um, at this time, she just goes and get in the bed. Like, she don't have a worry in the world. Like, you tripping, I didn't do anything, I'm going to bed, right? It's seven o'clock in the morning now. Mind oh, you, I text her know. at 4.30 to come to bed in the morning. She came to bed. So between 4.30 in the morning and 7 a.m., I woke up at exactly 7 a.m. And they was in there doing it for three hours. I'm the type of person, I can't, first of all, I can't sleep when the sunlight come up. Second of all, I can't sleep without my person on side of me. So I have no idea how long she was out that room. My son wouldn't have known because he was in the living room. And so, bam, I'm, I was like, how long were you in there? My ex was like, I don't know. I said, just give me something, please. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel like I'm accusing you. I, I, I'm just pouring out to her, like, give me something. She said, I said, tell me what y'all were talking about. She said, well, all I know we was talking about is her sons. You know, she was telling me about her sons. Now, one of her sons is gay. So she was like, um, well, we was, she was telling me about her son came out and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, now we're getting somewhere. And I was like, how do, can you tell me how long you were in there? She was like, I don't know. Okay, so nobody knows anything. Y'all don't know. Only thing you can remember, one thing y'all talked about, you can't remember nothing else you talked about. And I, I'm just left to pick up the pieces. So y'all would have passed out. I went on. I, I had a makeup appointment that morning because I had a brunch that day. You know, I was supposed to start fasting or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I canceled my makeup appointment. I canceled my brunch. Uh, and I was just, my mind was so gone. I said, I'm just going to stay at home. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to cook. I'm going to just try to get through this. I let my ex sleep. My daughter-in-law came in there. And she was like, I heard every, she, you know, she told me that she heard everything. And she was like, can I say something? I said, yeah. She said, her, my, now let me tell you back story on her. She's been, my daughter-in-law was going with my son since they were in seventh grade. They were best friends first. They started dating and they're both in their twenties at this point. Okay. They both were 22. So mind you, she's been in our family since seventh grade. So she was like to 22. They were 22 at the time. I think they're both 23 now. She said, as long as, That's and she stayed years. with us a lot, pretty much lived with us. She said, as long as I've been knowing you, I've never known you to ever go to sleep with people in your house, let alone a woman. I said, you're right. She said, when you came in here, you wasn't yourself. It was almost as if you were on something. Mm. <sighs> I took a deep breath and I said, that is crazy you said that because oh, I found something in the bed. That makes sense as to why she wasn't acting. That makes sense. It was literally, when she I got out of bed, it was literally like, inches away from her phone, my ex's phone. She said, I couldn't believe you went to bed and I couldn't believe that you were allowing that. She said, I don't know what it was, but I immediately thought that somebody gave you something. So I'm starting to think back like, man, right before we left out the, the party, they did give me a drink. Cause something had been in my drink. You know, I like my mind is racing now. So bam, I go back to my grandson's room. And this is probably about, mind you, this, what happened happened at seven o'clock that morning. My ex been sleep all day. And I cooked, I cleaned up. This was, this was about seven o'clock that after that evening. So I go back in the room. I said, I'm gonna come in this room. I start to circle the whole room, looking around like for any clues. I'm looking all over the floor. I see pillows everywhere. I see drinks. I mean, it looked like a party was going on in the room. I pull the sheets back and it's full of blood. I'm like, what? I mean, blood everywhere. The sheets. I don't even know what to say. These are full of blood. Now, and then I thought back, dang, she did tell me her cycle was on. But if your cycle is on and you're sleeping in one spot, it seems like it would only leak in that one spot. The blood was smeared. The blood was all over the bed as if she was scooting on the bed with her bottom mm. and blood was just everywhere. So I was like, what the freak? I pulled the sheets back. I threw those sheets away, by the way, immediately. So I'm looking at all the blood. The blood was so bad that it leaked the roux to the mattress cover. So I'm snatching the sheets off the What? So y'all was so high, you in there eating bloody cooch, my nigga. Do y'all know what this woman look like? Can y'all send me something? The bed, and what do I see? My ex head, um, my ex, anybody who know my ex, she always had on this head thing. It's a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a bandana, not a bandana. It's like a, um, 
uh, not a bonnet, a skull cap, you know, for dreads that you tie on your head to keep your hair laid down or whatever. She wore those all the time. So I looked and it got blood. The headscarf was in the corner of the sheet. Mind you, when I got ready to take the sheets off, that when I pulled the sheets back, I noticed that the corner of the sheet was pulled back. And I'm thinking, if one person is in his bed, how are the sheets off of the bed? Like, because this- Cause, not a he, this was a woman. It's a big, thick pillow top mattress and the fitted sheet goes tucked under. So why is the fitted sheet off? You know, that only happens if you're rumbling in or something in the bed oh, and the fitted me. sheet Let comes off. But once I looked in it, the fitted sheet was turned up. I, I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying. Like on the corner of the bed, the fitted sheet was turned up. So as I, when I grabbed it to take the sheets off the bed, in the corner was my ex's head scarf. Now my mind, I'm playing back in my head when I walked in the room and I'm looking at her. <laughs> I started thinking, wait a minute. My ex didn't have on a shirt and she never, she is that, she's a stud and she's that stud who does not, walk around people without clothes on. She's that stud who thinks everybody's looking at her girl parts or something. I was like, dang. Hold on. So this her. <laughs> she wanted a piece of her. And I'm talking about the stud. Yeah, she wanted a piece of her. Oh my God. Yeah, this the friend. She gives me like, oops, I dropped something on the floor. <laughs> Why she looking back at your nigga and shit? Ooh, she definitely got a type, but I will say they look totally different to me. <clears throat> the one she cheated with looked like, She's a little more, she looks like she has more fun. Let me just say that. I don't want to say exotic. Everybody uses that word, but she just looked like she can get into some shit she don't need to be getting into. Okay. Compared to Neek mom. I'm trying to see her body because that would definitely tell me everything I need to know. All right, now do it. <laughs> you know, I'll be vlogging. I'm, I'm about to vlog your new. Well, guys, she have not got her new storefront. Oh, yeah. It's a huge difference, y'all. Yeah. I see what was going on here. Definitely should have known. Definitely should have known. Look at her face. She should have known like that. She didn't have on a shirt. She had on like a, a white beater. I look on the floor. Her shirt is on the floor on side the bed. I was wondering why stuff was all over the floor when nothing was in the room when they went in there. Her shirt is on top of the pillows. I was stepping on it. I looked, I pulled the shirt up. I got her head scarf in my hand. The bed is full of blood. Y'all ready for this? I take everything off the bed. I throw it in the hallway so I can start throwing stuff away. At this point, I'm looking around the room for any more, any more signs. I took pictures, y'all. Like, I, was, I started taking pictures. I want to show them, but I just don't want to, like, incriminate myself because a lot is going on right now with court. It's so much stuff. I'm going to get into that, too. So I pull the bed, the mattress. Okay, my grandson's bed, the mattress is a little bit off of the back. So one thing is, any, anytime you're in that bed, everything slips behind the bed. <sighs> the strap. The strap was behind the bed. This girl panties was behind the bed. Mm. A size small black panties. Her skirt was so short that night that when I think back, all you could see the whole night was her black panties. And all my, I was like, her panties are behind the bed. And they were some little bitty size small panties. Let me tell y'all, I wear a size large in Victoria's Secret, okay? They were black Victoria's Secret panties. Now, I always keep that room spotless because one thing about my grandson, he don't sleep in there. He sleep with me every night. That's just, you know, sometimes I'll put him to bed in there and let's see. Sometimes I'll put him to bed in his room and I would uh, like, he'll fall asleep and then he'll come in there with me. But his room is always spotless. I even tried to tell myself that, okay, 
Maybe when his mama spent the night, she slept in here. Maybe these are her panties. But her, my daughter wears a size large like me. Like, she got a big old dog, too. Or uh, we, we both wear medium, sometimes a large or whatever, but never a small. Never, ever, ever a small. Like, nobody in that house wears a small in panties except for my other daughter-in-law. But she would have never had a reason to be in that room. I didn't even feel that. Oh, shit still has a full room in my house with a king size bed. So why would she ever even go in Kaiser's room? That would not make no sense. So I'm like, oh no, I'm firing up, I'm firing up. Because at this time, y'all got to know, like my mind was like, nobody could tell me nothing. I know what I know, I did this, oh my God, it's huh. So I go in the room and I tell my ex, wake up, wake up right now, wake up, right? So she jumps up and accused me of sticking her in the eye with my fingernail. You stuck me in the eye with your fingernail. I'm like, no, I didn't. So now she's, now that I'm looking back, she was trying to deflect on what I had saw by telling me I stuck her in the eye with my fingernail. Cause mine, we don't fight. We've never had a fist fight in our whole entire relationship. Um, 18 years. We bet we definitely don't cuss at each other or. Y'all, it's another part to this. This was yesterday. It's given now. Uh -huh, it's a little bit scary. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> oh, Soldier Boy is at Kyle House. Lord have mercy. Y'all, I got to catch him on Kyle videos. What's today? All right. Y'all. So now I understand why she didn't react the way she would probably normally, well, maybe not normally react because it don't seem like they were violent. Um, but that day I would have been, <laughs> God forbid, if I would have been drugged, obviously that would be totally different, but it's just like my nigga, like, what? She looked like that type, though. I ain't even gonna lie. That that woman looked like she is an attention whore. And it gives, it would be very noticeable, too, with her. She don't look like she hides it. Um, I just think that Neek Mom did not read the signs correctly. Is where I'm at with it. So... Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.